these four months was the best four months that I had ever had in my life. So I would like to. Visa. For visa wise, we going on exchange program. We have to apply for the F two D student visa. So for that one, you need to get paperwork from the other Korean, um, not the other, <laughs> the Korea from the Korean side university. So you have to wait for that. Well, because I plan it to apply it before going on vacation, before going on summer vacation, but it I didn't got my paperwork on time so I have to like in the middle of my summer vacation I have to come back to my um, to the Netherlands and then apply it here so that wasn't convenient at all but anyways just and take that in mind so the paperwork has to be sent from the Kung um, from Kung University at least for me in my case so the whole visa cost me 50 euros, around 50 euros if I remember wrong. And it took me a week till I got my visa after applying. So it was pretty fast. So oh, oh, when we arrived in Korea, we still need ARC. Even though we have like a student visa that valid for six months. Because it, it's why we need a ARC. It's because we stay in Korea longer than three months, so it's a rule. We have to follow it. Housing dorm wise, so I live at the dorm. Um, it cost me fifteen hundred bucks, uh, including the deposit, the deposit, the two hundred k deposit I got it back at the end of my semester. Um, I live with another person, my roommate Bianca. She's from Romania. She's also an exchange student, so we had a lot of fun at our dorm, um, and we click a lot. She's basically like, I don't know. She's really cool. I didn't even have any problems living at the house and uh, I mean like at the dorm uh, with Bianca because she we you know pip pip pretty much the same so I love that part culture shocked any culture shocked when I was in Korea I never felt um, any culture shock when I wasn't in Korea because I am Asian too so I don't see like such a big difference uh, in any Asian culture Asian culture in general but I often got mistaken as a Korean and they will speak Korean to me or when I go out with other friends and the staff will look straight at me and then start speaking Korean and then you see me panicking because I don't understand a single word <laughs> and which I feel sorry for about that <laughs> for them to feel awkward anyways um, if for but if we have to say any any culture shocked I would say the skin shipping in Korea like hugs or any touching in general um, Korea tend not to do that if you unless you guys are like really close friends and or it might be shocking for boys to see that because i feel like in korea boys tend to have a lot of skin shipping if they're really close friends with each other and in western you don't see that that much like i know i don't know like it's it's kind of like another level it's not just like you know or like hugging between bros but yeah that's a different and also pay attention with how you talk with the elderly people with each other not oh, not just elderly like um, teachers people who are older than you or even in general people that even a year older than you you have to be really polite when you talk to them not just in Korean but also in English too and just pay attention on the content yeah 
And the last point I would say, um, Seoul is a really big city and a really busy city. So busy city, <laughs> busy city. <laughs> so if you are not used to um, busy and fast pace um, city, so busy and fast phase of life i think you might get overwhelmed with the big city a little bit it can happen so you just have to get used to it yeah. <gasps> general problem uh maybe like language barrier do i have any language barrier there well with professors and students we barely have any interaction uh, I didn't have any group projects, so I don't have any interaction with my co-students. They are really nice, like sometimes I want to ask them, like, oh, do you have a pen? Or, yeah, I do forget my pens too. Or, <laughs> like, something they will ask, they will say really nicely. But outside that, if you don't have any question, they don't talk with you. They don't even look at you. <laughs> so I never have any opportunity to talk with my co-students. But for the professors, um, my economic um, teacher he is a foreigner who's fluent in English so that wasn't a problem and my other professors are surprisingly really good with speaking in English so I would say I was quite lucky with com uh, communication with my teacher wasn't a problem okay public wise like in public places we like transportation and ports on the street have English subtitles and voiceover so you will not get lost easily unless you like to get lost i guess in a city um ordering in restaurant is not a big problem most of the staff um i love to go to uh, those how you call those um how you call those Oh, you can eat, yes, oh, you can eat barbecue, barbecue. And most of the staff are young, um, they're quite young, so they can understand a little bit of English, so it wouldn't be a problem. But if, unless you go to like the really local, really, really local restaurants, yeah, it's most of the Achusi or Ajumat, they kind of don't understand English and it's kind of tricky. So you probably have to order, order it in Korean. So good luck on that. <laughs> Um, friends with Korean or international making any relationship starting any relationship there in general Oof. well how was it like to start um, any relationship in a whole new country so I did manage to make friends with Korean as well as international students I am not I am an introvert person and I can be really awkward when socializing with people but I would tr I try my best to be socialized and talk with people when I meet people I would just you know talk <laughs> anything literally anything so and most of the people they um, when they go on exchange they it's also a new country for them they don't know anyone so they are willing to make friends and if you stay open and be friendly towards other people they will be towards you be friendly to you too so i will say just join parties and join group um, go group groups hang out and try to be more socialized and see the city i mean like, it's fine if you don't want to be socialized you can like see the city alone too i have friends i did that too i have friends that sometimes when i say like hey you want to go out or like you want to hang out and see um go to the hanok village together and she's like me nee, i just want to go it by myself I'm like okay it's fine i will do it by myself so then it happens i am a loner too so i like to be alone too so <laughs> but okay food so i personally am a foodie like i told so i love trying new stuff like so being an asian myself food wise well, was never a problem for me but korean people do love spicy and i kind of have some problem with spicy too but my spicy immunity have gone up 
since when I stayed there for four months. Um, if you do prefer Western food, they have there is Western restaurant around in Seoul, so that is not a problem. And also Subway and Burger King, it's kind of uh, popular in Korea, so fast food wise, it's not a problem. Mm. So today's last topic would be why going abroad as a student is the best moment or as an exchange student is the best moment. Well, I would say because um, as a student, you will have the time, you have the energy, maybe you have the money, most, most likely, <laughs> and most importantly, the freedom to do it, to explore, to see the city and also everything everything you want to do in the country except illegal stuff and <laughs> so I would say when you later on you will either don't have the money or you either don't have the time or when you get older you have the energy the mindset will be different so I feel like going out to go abroad once in my life as an exchange student is really different and I am so glad that I have the chance and I have the opportunity to do it so I hope you guys will soon have the exchange experience too and will have the best moment in your life so today's video will be here mm, I hope you guys are gonna have some fun time and if you like it, please subscribe and thumbs up mm, and say hi in the comment to me. I'll see you guys soon. So for the people who is watching these videos, I hope you guys are gonna have the best moment in life when you go abroad and make a whole new start of your life. There too, like I did. <laughs> 